this great hall of justice. I had no idea when he told me he had just been hired to um, do Guardians of the Galaxy. I was, I was like, what, what, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> He's like, it's a comic book, Guardians of the Galaxy. And I was like, I've never heard of this. I, what is, is it like a, like a main he's like no it's kind of like you know it's a tree and a raccoon and i was like oh my god dude okay i i i'm sure it'll, the story will be, like he's james is such a great writer i was like yeah I, i'm sure the story will be great let's let's see how this turns out and are you uh, like rolling your eyes behind his back <laughs> like <laughs> not really i i mean but holy shit man when it came out it was so different than other comic book movies in just the humor and then also just in the scope of colors and like it was bright it wasn't you know like dark and and broody you know like a you know batman or something yeah and then you know those characters do get dark later on and oh my god yeah absolutely. that's the cool thing about to me what a comedy can do because it endears you to the characters so that when they go and this can relate to peacemaker which we'll get yeah. to yeah. Just the idea that you know you're rooting for these guys because you like them and you know them, or at least you feel like you know them. Yeah, hundred percent. It was, I, I mean, from the second I started watching that movie, I was invested in those weird characters. So does he come to you, or do you go to him? Like again, you don't have to tell the super personal stories, but mm -hmm. how does Guardians Two come out? Because I would imagine Suicide Squad or the let me let me rephrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Suicide the Squad. Suicide Squad. Uh, yeah. happens as a result of him seeing what you did in guardians too correct is that a yeah. natural james assumption? likes likes to work with people that he knows especially in smaller roles like you'll always see nathan fillion in a small part and you know uh, other outside of slither which he had a, a big part in but like other movies like nathan's always making appearances in uh sean is making appearances michael rooker um no. He Michael loves Rooker has been on this podcast. Yeah, he loves to work with his friends. And I don't blame him. I mean, a lot of people in position to hire their friends do, like Adam Sandler, and you know, right. it, it just happens. And the there was a B story in that movie that was like all about the Ravagers. And he was like, Why wouldn't I just load up the Ravagers with some of my friends? And so that's how it that that's how that happened. I mean, it was pretty much you know, it's not like you leading man stuff. He's like, but, you know, we'll put some weird goggles on you and a scar on your face and hang out with us for a few weeks. And I mean, it's weird the way things happen. And, you know, we're, we're being straight with each other. I mean, mm -hmm. James had something in his social media, like a joke that went bad. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you know, we can talk about social media all you want. It just yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the thing about what what these tweets are and, 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 and what that happened. I just, the punishment didn't fit the crime, but no. when that happens, that's how the suicide squad comes about. I don't even know that DC wanted to make another suicide squad to be perfectly honest with you. No, I'm sure DC, it was not on their list at all. I don't think DC <laughs> knows what they're doing next year, you know, at, no, at this point no. with, with everything that's going on and I'm not bashing uh, them. The, yeah, that's yeah. reality. Yeah. You know, so the thought to, to say that he didn't conceptualize Peacemaker is, uh, you know, an understatement. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a it's an uncovered tweet that leads to this great opportunity for you in, indirectly. Yeah, he I mean, he, you know, it's it's that thing of one door closes, another one opens. And I think D.C. was really smart to say, look, man, we know that any, you know, blue tweets that you did were just that you know just a bad you know, bad jokes and um you know we know that's in your past and we'd love to work with you and we'll let you t choose whatever you know franchise you want or not even a franchise whatever you want to do and he's like i really want to do the suicide squad and um they're like okay and they yeah. let him run crazy with it yeah, and, and, and that he did. Um, yeah, there's, there's no secret about that. And he tells the story about how it was over COVID that he was stuck in his house. Yeah. And he wrote Peacemaker. 
eight um, weeks, eight episodes in eight weeks. Yeah. What is that phone call like? Like what? What's that phone when they say you did something? You you did it. It, it happened. It was it was uh, received. Like I said, DC is all over the place these days. I know. I, mean, I know. I I'm afraid to do a podcast about the Flash. The um. <laughs> the, <laughs> yeah, a lot lots happened with that lately. <laughs> <laughs> what 